What I am worried about is how awesome this looks. Cause it's just like the 51, you just, like the hood's up, you're just gonna see it from the side. And uh, that's awesome, I love that. I mean, I got a turbo, I want people to see it. All right guys, welcome back to the channel with the uh, 5.7 Hemi and the 67 F100. And like I said at the end of the last video, we're building a turbo kit this time. So I'm hoping in this video to get the whole hot side done, the up pipes to the turbo, turbo on, down pipe, exhaust, everything. So this should be a lot of fun and we'll just get right into it. So we've got this 0857 Hemi out of a Charger RT. And the first thing we got to do is start making the up pipes. So those will be the pipes that come from both manifolds up through, which if you watch the other videos, I'm using the manifolds because I really don't have room for any kind of headers. I was going to build headers, but this side is so tight, there's just no room. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to end up using these uh, down pipes on the end of the manifold. They're really nice. They're three inch, super thick flange. But what I did was I just cut the bolts off when I took these off. So I've still got studs stuck in here. So project number one, pull the manifolds, get those studs out of there, get these bolted up on both sides so we can start figuring out how we're gonna get the pipes to come up. Cause I'm gonna do it just like the 51. I want the turbo like right here, just kind of in your face over the motor. Like it worked out really well in the 51. So I'm gonna do the same thing here and it looks really, really badass. So. Let me pull those manifolds off and we'll go from there. Well, that was a lot more work than I thought because the back of this alternator, as you can see, is super tight to the manifold. And the little ears on the manifold where they bolted on actually hit the back of the alternator. So I ended up cutting them off and then I welded both sides. Just the collector right to the manifold. Which I think is probably, probably better anyway. That way I don't have to worry about alignment issues or leaks but, and I'll V-band it so I can take it apart. But what I think I'm gonna do is kind of take this thing here and basically come off this manifold, come up over this cross member across. And then on this side, so I don't put any more heat into the alternator than I really need to, I'm gonna take this bend and basically kind of come up around like that. And then It'll basically, I'll merge them right here, come up over right to the turbo. So for now, I'm gonna start on this side because this is the easier side. I just gotta cut that one off flush and then I think I can use this 90 that I had laying around. I got a bunch of the three inch here. It'll be full three inch to the turbo, which should be more than enough for this motor. So I gotta pull that one off, trim it back, tack this one on there and then start making some pipe. Super happy with how this came out. Just a couple joints in there, tucked it way up in, wraps over, comes over top of that cross member. Like, that's good. So I think I'm gonna pull this out, tack it all together, and then, cause I gotta get the other one, the passenger side to come up through here. So I'm gonna take this out, put some heavier tacks just so it's solid. But right now it's in my way cause I'll have to shorten it up and then put a kick up here. So yeah, this is coming out pretty nice so far. It, it tucks in there able to keep it away from the, the steering shaft pretty far away from the belt I got a bunch of clearance down here so hopefully not cook the front of the motor all mocked up super super happy with the way this came out I mean this side is kind of tight down here to the drag link but I've got probably three inches I'll probably scallop this a little bit but this shouldn't move a ton, so I'll probably just scout this. It'll be good. But that wraps around there, comes up. This one comes around, snakes right across the front of the motor. Parallels that cross member. I'm really, really happy with it. This merge pipe came out fantastic, too. I mean, it fits so well. Like, I'm really happy with that. So, now I think I'm just probably going to lay some welds on it like this. Because it can't really come out because I need to cut it to put the V-bands in. But I think I'm just going to lay some beads on it right now. And that'll make it solid. And then I think I need to go steal the turbo off the 51. Because the one for this one isn't here yet. And then I can get the turbo hung. 
All right, so I stole the turbo off the 51 because the, the one I ordered for this truck isn't here yet, but I ordered the same one. It's a GT45 eBay turbo. Nice and cheap, good size for the motor. So I've got it, I think where it's gonna be. This simulates my hood line here, so I should have plenty of clearance to the hood because I don't, I don't wanna be above the hood. And then I'm fairly far forward here because of the shock mount, but that should still work pretty good. And then on the back side, I've still got plenty of clearance to get a four inch downpipe down and out. So I think that's about where it's going to hang because it'll work nicely too. I can rotate, I'll rotate this uh, cold side over here and we'll go to an intercooler because we're going to run an intercooler on this thing, even though we didn't on the 51, but this thing has a lot more room up front. So now I just got to get this pipe over down, over into this flange. So this is going to be a bit of snaking, but once we get that, then the turbo will be set. Then we can work on a downpipe, but that's going to be, I don't know. It shouldn't be terrible, but that's going to be a little tricky. So let's work on that. Turbo is hanging up there. Super happy with it. It's at a good height. It's sitting in there level. It snakes around. We've got enough clearance to the shock here. A good amount of clearance to the alternator. Come over here. Oh, hit my head. Good amount of clearance here. It snakes out. I think it'll even cover, or it'll even miss the inner fender. So. I'm really happy with that. That came together pretty nicely. So I'm gonna lay some beads on this. And I got this merge pipe made it up into here, so that'll work. Lay some beads on this, and then we'll start working on the down pipe. So these are all, I welded in what I could just so it's solid. I mean, it's a little wobbly, but. So there's a four inch V-band and I got a bunch of four inch tube here. And that's not gonna work so well because we gotta get it down through here. So I think we'll come out of here, kind of 45 it over and then do a 90 down just to kind of get it away from the motor. Cause I don't really want to be that tight to the valve cover. So if I bring it over, I think it'll give me a bunch of room. And then I can change plugs too. So we got four inch for the downpipe. So I got a couple of four inch J bends here. And then a tailpipe. This is a stock replacement tailpipe off a diesel truck. And I bought it because it's cheap. This was cheaper than buying like the bends to make this. And then I got one really long section of four inch to get it out the back. So I'm hoping I can just get it down and basically run it straight out the back and kick it out kind of like a stock truck would be right behind the tire. Because I want this truck to be super drivable. You know, I want to be able to cruise this thing all the time. So I don't really want back pressure, but I also don't want it to be ringing. The 51's pretty loud, so if I put it out the back, it should be good. But we got to make some stuff happen here to get it down there. So I took one of those J-Bends and basically cut it in half and I used a 90 here. And then the other half of it was almost perfect here. I had to shave this a little bit, but it shoots right down in there. It's pretty close to the head, but I think it'll be just fine. There's room down here, so that should all work. There's plenty of room to the valve cover. So I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. Now I'm just gonna take this tailpipe section here, slide it up under the truck, and then try to mate that downpipe to this tailpipe and yeah, we'll see how that goes, but hopefully that's easy. This part up here was super easy, so I hope it keeps going like that. Tailpipe is up in there, and it fits pretty darn well, if I have to say so myself. It kind of clears around everything. It's a little low in the back, but I think we can pull it up. So it comes up to here, and then in the front, this is what we've got up here. So we've got the trans cross member right here. We've got the downpipe up there. And it's going to need to snake through, so I think a couple of bends there. I want to keep it kind of low here, away from the floor, so it doesn't just put extra heat into the cab. You know, the 51, it's nice because it gives you heat in the winter, but I don't think I want to add all that extra heat in this thing because it actually has functioning heat. So we'll snake it down, probably kind of right through here. Um, might have to take off this old exhaust hanger. But it'll come through here, and then we'll connect it to the back. And hopefully... It goes pretty easy, but we're going to start cutting some bends up there to try to get that thing down here. Okay, I got this all mocked up. 
snakes down here very, very nicely. You can kind of see it up through there. Not really, but snakes down. So four inch straight pipe all the way back to the tailpipe. Everything seems pretty good. I still got to cut in some V-band so I can take it apart. But, and then back here, that's what the tailpipe looks like. So kind of just a big four inch, kind of nondescript, but it should give it plenty of airflow. So I think, and here's up front, kind of snakes right down in there. So I'm going to lay some uh, little beads on all these and then fit the front clip and kind of see how everything looks before I go and weld everything in and kind of screw myself in case something doesn't fit. So time to do some welding. Front clip is back on. There's a little bit of struggle. I'm gonna have to trim it around the brakes over here, but I'm not worried about that right now. What I am worried about is how awesome this looks. Cause it's just like the 51. You just, like the hood's up, you're just gonna see it from the side. And uh, that's awesome, I love that. I mean, I got a turbo, I want people to see it. But this thing looks really good in here. I got plenty of room up front to the radiator. Like, I can put a biggest fan as I want. And if you look down in here, like, that's all trimmed out. It tucks in there really, really nice. I got a bunch of space to the valve cover. I can still do like plugs and stuff. I mean, it's gonna be, it should be pretty easy to work on. Not, I mean, the 51 is really easy, but I, I'm really excited. I mean, the hot side is done. All I gotta do is, I, I gotta pull it, fully weld it. I gotta put some three inch V bands up here on the up pipes and then I got a V band to put right at the bottom of the down pipe so we can just separate it. So if we're working on it, just pull the down pipe and not have to pull the exhaust. But it's a full four inch, like all the way back. So four inch straight pipe all the way back to the tailpipe, which I'm really, really happy with the way that tailpipe turned out. It's kind of Kind of nondescript, it just kind of looks stock, but I mean, it's a four inch pipe all the way back. This thing should spool really quick. Like, it shouldn't have any back pressure. I'm hoping it's not too loud. If it is, I'll have to add a muffler or something, but I really don't want to do that. I'm thinking it should be loud as hell back here, but nice and quiet up there. But I am, and I'm really happy with this. Like, I mean, I was excited, like, I was really excited for the, the suspension because. I love the stance of it, but now it's got a turbo. Like, oh, this is awesome. I, th this is awesome. I can't wait. This thing is really, really coming together nicely. And, uh, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to wrap this video up. And, uh, the downtime around work, I guess I got some welding to do on here. But come back next time to see what we're doing. Because I don't even know what we're doing next. We might button stuff up. We might throw the Holly Terminator on here, because I got that. We might put a Hemi together because we know this one's blown up. I don't know what I'm doing next, but this thing's going to be on the road early, early spring, if not this winter. I, I am going to make sure of that. So come back, see what we do next time.